Let's check the cutscenes. I remember the boss, but I don't remember the cutscenes. After that, I will tell you more about this. And I don't even remember how to kill that boss. Nobuyasu. Wow. Wish me luck. I don't remember how to attack this boss. Yay! At the third time. And it was actually the second the second time because the second the actual second time I didn't fight against her. It was like I went straight for the for my experience and I died in the process. Whew! Alright. My god. I know what's happening next and I'm sad. <laughs> Tokugawa symbol. Mm -hmm. Check this cutscene because I'm going to tell you more about it later. Before I before I talk before I continue playing a little, I will play more, don't worry. But before that, I was thinking one thing that I wanted to try today is do some educational streams <laughs> and the stream how to make it educational but um, I'm going to tell you a little bit <laughs> about the story that is behind that stream the story that you can see on the stream all right so I hope you can see it a little but we are going to discuss about who were those characters the ones that are featured and more so that you understand correctly who is exactly that ogress the ogress itself is Lady Tsukiyama, okay? Lady Tsukiyama, she is the ogress that we just fought against, okay? So, uh, why is Lady Tsukiyama so important? Or why? what is the history behind this Lady Tsukiyama? The real history. To explain about it, we have first our two main characters, okay? Very important for the history of Japan, which are, of course, Oda Nobunaga on one side and Tokugawa Ieyasu on the other side. So they're both really important. Oda Nobunaga first was the one who was unifying the whole country. Later there would be Tokugawa Ieyasu, uh, uh, well in the middle between Oda Nobunaga and Tokugawa Ieyasu, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. But Hideyoshi uh, doesn't have anything to see with this story so he's not fitter here so we will put him apart. Okay, so basically, while Oda Nobunaga was ruling, Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Nobun um, Tokugawa Ieyasu were working for him. They were Oda Nobunaga's retainers. Okay, and Oda Nobunaga and Tokugawa Ieyasu, they had an alliance. How was this alliance? Well, let's say that uh, Lady Tsukiyama and Tokugawa Ieyasu, they were married. L Lady Tsukiyama was um, Ieyasu's wife. They were married together and they had a son. The son was the son that was mentioned during the cutscene of Lady Tsukiyama. During the, the ogress was crying next to the grave. The son was Matsudaira Nobuyasu. Okay, this was the son of um, of the the main wife, the official wife, which is Lady Tsukiyama and Ieyasu. 
If you know a bit, a little about Japanese history, you might know. If you don't know, I'm telling you now. That's okay. You might know that、uh, Nobuyasu is not the second shogun. Takugawa Ieyasu starts the Edo shogunate in Tokyo, the current Tokyo. But the second, the second shogun is not going to be Nobuyasu, even though Nobuyasu he,、uh, he was his first son out of the official wife. Everything technically works okay, and everything is following the, pa- the pattern that would say that Nobuyasu then was meant to be the,、um, the second shogun. So then, what happened? In the beginning, when we were starting this mission, we were talking, that,、uh, we were talking about Ieyasu moving to another castle. He was moving to Hamamatsu Castle. When he moved to Hamamatsu Castle, He got another、uh, a concubine, okay, Lady Saigo. Lady Saigo was a concubine, she was not the official wife. However, the son that they will have in common, Tokugawa Hidetada, he will be the second shogun, okay, not Nobuyasu, but Hidetada. So, why? Why did this happen? Well, let's say that in order to strengthen the alliance between Ieyasu and Nobunaga, Basically, the son that they had, Tsukiyama and Ieyasu, Nobuyasu, Nobuyasu was married to the daughter of Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga had a daughter called Tokuhime. Tokuhime, I, don't, I didn't find any picture about Tokuhime, so I decided to draw it by myself. <laughs> this is Tokuhime, and this is my personal drawing of <coughs> any Tokuhime. A single princess. But anyway, so Tokuhime, Nobunaga's daughter. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. <laughs> This was literally drawn with PowerPoint. I'm not good at drawing, so I drew, I drew her using PowerPoint. <laughs> But anyway, Tokuhime and Nobuyasu, Tokuhime,、uh, Nobunaga's daughter, and Nobuyasu, who was the son of Tsukiyama, our ogress, and Tokugawa Ieyasu, they were married to strengthen the alliance of Nobunaga and Ieyasu. This alliance was meant to conquer the whole country. But what happened? On this time, it was said that、uh, Tokuhime and Nobuyasu they didn't have any son, they didn't have any heir. So, because of this, Lady Tsukiyama, one of the things is that most of the marriages at that time are political. They're not done for love or anything like that, it's me- merely political. So, Basically, since、uh, Tsukiyama wanted to secure his po-、uh, her position and her son's position, basically, to secure that position as the next shogun, you need an heir. You need to show that you can continue the Tokugawa family. But that was not the case with Nobuyasu and Tokuhime. So, to, in order to improve that and give more chances to Nobuyasu to have a son, She decides to marry Nobuyasu with a daughter of a Takeda's clan retainer. Takeda's clan is one of the biggest enemies of,、um, of Nobunaga. However, Tokuhime, the Nobunaga's daughter, didn't take this very well. Didn't take、uh, this concubine、uh, idea very well. So, there are actually two theories. Uh, one is what I told you. Basically, she was angry because、um, Lady Tsukiyama had married Nobuyasu with another concubine so that they could have an, an heir. The other, the other idea it could be because Tokuhime and Tsukiyama, who was basically her mother in law, they didn't have a very good relationship. Tsukiyama was always meddling in the, in the marriage, etc. So, for Any reason, Tokuhime and Tsukiyama's relationship was not good at all. They were always fighting. So, what does、uh, Tokuhime think about? Basically, Tokuhime says in a, in a letter that、uh, Nobuyasu has,、uh, has had some relationship with the daughter of a Takeda's clan vassal, which, in other words, is basically to say, They,、uh, the other family, basically the Tokugawa family with, the,、uh, uh, with Lady Tsukiyama and Nobuyasu, they are trying to deceive you. 
they are thinking of a way to trick you, okay? Because they are making also alliances with your enemy, the Takeda's clan. So, Nobunaga was very angry because of that. And the alliance was in danger. The alliance between Nobunaga and Ieyasu was in danger. How do we solve this? Ieyasu didn't want to risk this alliance for anything in the world. So, in order to give a good image, in order to solve this issue, what did he decide? He decided to uh, order his son, he put his son to be uh, in prison, and he actually, as the cat scene showed, that is actually true, he beheaded Lady Tsukiyama. We don't know if it was Ieyasu itself, but basically because of Ieyasu's orders, Tsukiyama was beheaded. Okay, what we can see in the game, the ogres, is basically the vengeful spirit of uh, of the ogres, the vengeful spirit of Tsukiyama. So, Tsukiyama was uh, beheaded, and uh, Nobuyasu, who was in prison, he was also asked to commit seppuku. He was not beheaded, he was allowed to commit seppuku, but basically both of them died. What you can see in the game, the cutscene where the ogres is died is crying in front of a, is weeping in front of a grave and saying Nobuyasu's name is because that one, that ogress, is not Tsukiyama already. She has died and she has become a yokai, a vengeful ghost. And she's still crying on the grave of Nobuyasu, who was ordered to commit suicide by his own father, Tokugawa Ieyasu. So this is the real story behind Lady Tsukiyama, the character in the, in the game. And I wanted to share a little bit more with you, as something a little bit educational. So, because I think that Neo gives great opportunities to learn about the history of Japan. So, I'm very excited that I could share about it. And I hope that you liked it, too. <laughs>